Mets played a three-inning intra-squad game on Friday afternoon. We're not going to insult your intelligence by giving too much meaning to the results of an inter-squad game in late February. But as I had the privilege of being there, and I assume if you're watching this, you did not, we'll run through a couple of the points that were interesting sitting in the stands. Number one, Joey Lucchese, 20 months removed from Tommy John surgery. Uh, he was one of the starting pitchers. He did look sharp. He's an interesting uh, situation right now roster-wise. He's somewhere down, let's say, seven or eight on the Mets' depth chart as a starter. But if they want a second lefty in their bullpen coming out of camp, they would have a decision to make on Lucchese there. They were thinking towards the end of last year of doing that in their bullpen, putting him back there. Uh, they didn't think he was totally ready yet. It didn't work out. But he could be an option for the AAA rotation, stay stretched out, or that lefty, second lefty in the bullpen. We'll see how that plays out. But it was good for the Mets and encouraging, I'm sure, for Lucchese to see him on the mound. Also, Brett Beatty, a two-for-two two with a run driven in, a double, obviously a young hitter that the Mets are excited about. Really more intrigue on Beatty's defense, and we'll continue to look at that as he ex is expected to be in the starting lineup uh, for the first Grapefruit League game on Saturday. Interested to see how he handles third base. That's a big question on him. Finally, the pitch clock, the new rules. This was the first three innings of competitive baseball that those things have been in play. Uh, no violations on the pickoff throws or the pitch clock violations or the disengagement. So that went pretty smoothly. Buck Showalter really focusing on getting his WBC players, which includes his entire infield, as much experience as they can have with the pitch clock and the new rules because they won't get those in the WBC. So those are some interesting things that happened in an inter-squad game here on a hot Friday afternoon in Port St. Lucie.